morning, Paolo. How are you this morning, huh? It's gonna be a hot one today, isn't it? Yes, it is. You should go find somewhere shady to lay down. I know. All right, say hello to my friends. Good morning, family and friends. It's Kim here from Kim's Country Corner, and today I'm out at the Hancock Homestead because I need to get some work done on these garden boxes. Um, they need to be slightly weeded. They don't need to be perfectly weeded because I'm gonna be putting down cardboard and straw, but the more weeds I can get out ahead of time, the better it will be for prevention in the future. So I might as well go ahead and weed them. And what I do is I water everything first. And by watering everything first, that just makes the weeds a whole lot easier to pull out. So this box over here, I did last night. Um, I did not videotape it because I was in a hurry, but um, I got everything watered. I got the weeds out. I got some cardboard down, but I really wanted to get the cages on because these are starting to get pretty tall where, the, where it was really difficult to cage them. So, um, but now I'll go back in and tuck in straw around the corners and stuff. I have a little bit more cardboard to add on the ends. But anyway, that box has got a good start. And now this morning I'm gonna go ahead and finish working on box two. I got everything watered and I'm in the process of pulling out weeds. You can see my bucket over there. And then we'll just move on to boxes three and four and five and six and on down. And uh, the first step, like I said, it's going to be watering everything and then weeding. And then I'll go through and I'll put down cardboard in all of them. And then the last step will be to take the wagon and go get some straw to put down. So, Okay, so you can see that this box here has been wetted. The plants have been watered in and I'm just pulling out some of the remaining weeds. And uh, like I said, if you wet it down first, it just makes those weeds so much easier to pull out. And no, they don't have to be perfect, but the way I figure it is, the more weeds I get out now, then hopefully the less weeds I have to pull out in the future.
Okay, family and friends, so I did box one last night. I did boxes two and four this morning. I've got box three over there being watered. Um, I'm gonna go take a short break and get me something to drink. Okay, so I'm gonna go get me something to drink now and then I'll come back and I'll work on box three and then I'll move on down if I'm feeling okay and the heat hasn't affected me too much. Then I'll move on down and work on boxes five and six. Uh, that's my main goal today is to get the first six boxes done, at least weeded. And uh, just I just have to take it step by step because um, it is very hot today and uh, I just don't know when I'm gonna wear out. So I'll do as much as I can. I'll bring you along for as much as I can and whatever we don't get done today, there's always tomorrow. But why put off till tomorrow what you can get done today? So hopefully we will have six boxes done today. Okay, I'll be back. I don't know if y'all can see the ants down here, but they're just driving me nuts. Get up on my arms. And we have another bowl in here too. And this one. Last one had a bowl and this one does too. I'm sawing. I try to do half the box and then the other half.
Okay, family and friends, so I'm a little bit dirty here, but I'm very happy to say that all of the boxes have now been watered and weeded. And um, the next step will be to put down the cardboard and then the straw and then to put in the cages. Now, I already did go ahead and cage these because they were starting to get pretty tall here. Um, now, some of you might be saying, well, why didn't she put down the cardboard and the straw right away after she planted and then she went ahead to contend with all the weeds. Well, as soon as we got these planted, then we moved on to the orchard. And uh, the orchard took a day or so to work on it. And then uh, after we got the orchard finished, then we had our grandkids for a few days. And while they were here, we worked on uh, planting up the gate garden. And then after the gate garden was done, I wanted to do some work on the cottage garden. And I kept thinking, oh, I'll have time, I'll get to it, I'll have time. Well, before I knew it, the weeds had grown back. And not only all that, but uh, shortly after John had helped us with uh, planting up the gate garden, uh, he fractured his foot. He got a stress fracture in his foot, and it's a long stress fracture. And uh, he has to stay off of it, or else it's just going to get bigger. And then this fall, he's going to have to go in and have surgery done on his foot and his ankles so he is unable to walk this year he's unable to walk because of the stress fracture and he's unable to walk because of the pain that his ankles are causing him so i have also been doing the mowing the sweeping the weeding and just all of the chores here on the homestead uh, besides the outside chores i've also been helping to take care of him and do the household chores and I'm not complaining, okay? I enjoy the work I do, and I'm blessed that I'm able to do it. All I'm saying is that one person only has so much time, and you have to prioritize what you're gonna do first. But anyway, the main thing is we got it done, it looks good, and I'm ready to move on to the next step, which is putting down the cardboard and the straw. Okay, so let's look at the boxes now that they've been weeded. Here's box one. They are better boys. They have shot right up. Um, in fact, I went ahead and caged them because they were getting so tall so fast. I did get some cardboard down. I need to put down more. Then box two is also better boys. They weren't quite as big of plants when I was putting them in. So they have a little bit of catching up to do, but not much. They, they are shooting right on up there. This one here had gotten attacked by a hornworm. But as you can see, it is catching up with the rest of its box. All right, so then moving on down, box three here is Romas. Romas do not get as tall as Better Boys. I don't know if you all remember, but um, this one down here was the one that was attacked by the hornworm. It wasn't anything but a stub. And now it's gotten very nice and full. It's even got a flower on it. That one also bounced back. All right, box four, also Romas. They were a little bit bigger plants, I think. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start there. Box five here, we have early girls on this side and um, some kind of a cherry tomato on on this side. What was it called? Um, husky cherry. Husky cherry red. All right. Then over here are the peppers. Yellows. Yellows on this side. Reds. And then greens down there at that end. And then down here are the Cucumbers. This one's looking really good. And then cucumbers on this side. I still need to weed these two boxes, but they won't take long. Okay. I got a whole wagon full of weeds there to take down. Okay, family and friends. So I went in, I had some lunch, I took a break. Um, about a three-hour break. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon, 
and uh, I found out that the grandkids are going to be coming over tomorrow so I want to go ahead and push through today and try to get this chore done so that it will be off of my checklist and out of my mind uh, so that I can enjoy tomorrow with the grandkids. Anyway, the next thing I need to do is to lay down cardboard and then put straw on top. And uh, I stopped down here to pick up the straw and I'm gonna get it loaded first. And then we'll run by the chicken house and get the cardboard and then we'll head on out to the garden boxes. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get these straw bales gathered up now. And I will tell you, it is gonna be a dirty job. And uh, hence another reason I want to go ahead and get this done because I'm already dirty. So let's just get a little bit more dirty. But these straw bales have been sitting out since last fall. And uh, so they're probably going to fall apart on me. But that's okay. I just use them as mulch and they don't have to look pretty. So anyway, here we go. Into pallets and makes them real easy to lay. Alright, we'll start with that. Then we'll come back for more if we need it. Let's go get some cardboard.
So wetting down the cardboard helps the straw uh, stay put, keeps it from sliding around. Okay, so whenever a straw bale comes apart, it comes apart in these little sections, which makes them perfect for just laying down. Right, box one is finished. It's a whole lot easier to do the cardboard and straw before you get the cages in. So let's go ahead and do box two.
Okay, family and friends. Well, as you can see, I made it back with some straw, but I forgot to turn you guys on before I laid it out. But as you can see, I got it all laid out, all tucked in, and all the plants are nicely surrounded, and they're gonna grow up and over this straw, and the weeds are not, or at least we hope not. One or two might find their way in some of the nooks, but most of all, most of it's gonna be weed suppressant. Okay, so now what I wanna do for box two is get in the cages, because these do have a tendency to grow pretty tall, and uh, I wanna get them caged, and I don't know how far I'm gonna to get today. Boxes one and two might be all I get done, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and get these caged. Another reason it helps to wet down the cardboard is because then when you go to put in these uh, cages, they'll stick through the cardboard a lot easier. <gasps> Oops, sorry guys. Knocked you with a cage. Those cages look huge compared to the tomato plants right now. But trust me, the tomato plants will grow up them. Okay, family and friends, well, I'm a mess, but I did get boxes one and two completely finished. Uh, they have been watered, they have been weeded, cardboard has been laid down, straw has been laid down, and cages have been put up. Um, but it is very hot today, and it is really zapping my energy pretty quickly. Um, I was hoping to get this project done today because I have grandkids tomorrow but that is just not going to happen. Um, it's about supper time now, and uh, so I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna have some supper, and then I'm gonna call this it, because I actually think I might have pulled something. Anyway, uh, yeah, so if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, and if you wanna know more about what's going on in my corner of the world, hit that subscribe button to Kim's Country Corner. Thank you for being here with me today, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye for now. Awesome day, awesome day. A good, hardworking, productive day is always an awesome day.